there is a physical memory of remembering where you came from. If you just as much as hold somebody's hand, you will develop runanubandha. Physical memory beyond a certain point that what you pick up will cause a certain level of confusion. Many of you have noticed this, certain days your body seems to be confused. So, we created various systems to cleanse. talking about what is referred to as runanabhanda, which means <clears throat> certain physical memory. Body has its own memory. Today there are lots of experiments. To uh, partially prove some of these things. Let's say, your father, okay, I'm just picking on him because I thought you wouldn't mind. <laughs> your father, let's say when he was a child, he liked round objects. He played with round pebbles, round this, round that. Let's say he developed a certain level of involvement with that. When you grow up, without knowing why, you'll start liking round things. Maybe you don't find pebbles anymore when you're growing up, so you'll pick on something else, whatever you choose, you will tend to choose that kind of thing. These things have proven beyond doubt that these repetitions happen. This is simply because you carry a certain genetic material. Runanubhanda means the physical memory that you carry within you. This can happen because of blood relationship, this can also happen due to sexual relationships, that body has a certain memory. Runanubandha is not like genetic factors being transmitted from parent to child, not on that level. There is a physical memory of remembering where you came from, not necessarily in terms of tone of your skin, shape of your nose, how you're built, your race, not that. It is just that if you just as much as hold somebody's hand, you will develop runanubandha. This is why in India if you come, people will do like this. They don't want to do that. They will love you like this. <laughs> and there are many things, they won't give certain substances. Nobody will give salt to you or will receive salt from you. If you try to give them salt, you'll say, keep it here. They don't want to take it from your hands. The till or the sesame seeds, they won't take it from you. Certain types of soils, nobody will receive it from you. If you want to give soil to somebody, any kind of soil, there are rituals where soil is given, always you keep it down, I'll pick it from there. Never take it from somebody's hands because you will develop runanubandha. Physical memory beyond a certain point that what you pick up will cause a certain level of confusion. Confusion not here, this confusion is a different thing, that is something you have earned <laughs> But physical confusion, if the body is confused, it can't come to ease. It is… many of you have noticed this, certain days your body seems to be confused. Have you noticed this? Wherever you sit somehow, another day you sit down, ha. Huh? So, 
we created various systems to cleanse. One thing is fire wash, air wash, <laughs> really. Of course, the water wash every day. When… you know, when I was in my… a period of time, when I was into lot of sadhana, I would have somewhere between five to seven showers a day. Because your system becomes so sensitive, you sat on this cushion, now you're conscious what this cushion is doing to you. So you want to wash, at least just water running over your body. Five to seven days, seven times a day. This is not like calculated, I must do it five times or seven times. Whenever you feel like it, most yogis have shower at least twice a day, minimum. Usually it's a dip in the river, just at least once you dip in flowing water so that you're washed clean. Those who are doing sadhana, even today in the ashram, none of the brahmacharis are allowed to even wash their clothes in a common place. Everybody washes their clothes separately. So, we can't put a washing machine and put everybody's clothes in it and do it, it would be easier. But uh, we will not do it because all of them are doing sadhana and everyone has their own specific characteristic. We don't want it all mixed up because it will not work. If we have to mix it up, then every wash we will have to coat it with soil. You don't know this probably. All the sannyasis, all the sadhus and sannyasis always use very fine uh, sieved uh, mud, red earth to color their clothes. It's… it's… Uh, entire ashram is painted like this because it's just soil we used, okay? Soil with a certain… what? Uh, a certain adhesive sticks like paint. And all buildings in the ashram were painted like this. And all sadhus, sannyasis, those who are on spiritual path, wash their clothes with red earth, filtered earth, with that they wash. So that's why that color, that's how it's come. So either you must wash separately or every time you must coat it with some soil material so that the runanubhanda, the only runanubhanda that you hold is with the earth, not with people around you, not with things around you, just with the planet. That is okay because if you wear clothes, because the word soil here is used differently, if you wear soiled clothes <laughs> No, no, not like that. Dipped in red earth, if you wear these clothes, in some way it is a reminder for the body as to where it comes from and where it will go. So those who are on the spiritual path always use clothes which have been dipped in filtered red earth. Actually the white clothes turn into mud color because it's been constantly washed with filtered earth.